Hi guys, so I'm going to be giving my discussion board response for week 11 um, on Paradise Lost by John Milton. And so I'm going to answer the first bullet point um, questions. Um, the first one is, what is hell like according to John Milton? What does hell look like according to modern pop culture? How do you see Milton's influence on contemporary depictions of hell? So, um... Answering the first question, what is hell like according to Milton? Um, from lines, I would say, like, through the f from the 30s all the way down, like, through the 80s, um, he, he's describing hell. So, basically, from the time that um, Satan fell from heaven to, like, you know, where he ended up, which is hell and how it looked. So... Um, here in, I keep losing the lines. I'm so sorry. Okay. So, some starting from line 44, um, it says, Him, the almighty power, hurled headlong flaming from the ethereal sky. So we could see that, um, the adjective that he uses, flaming. Um, and then after that, it says, with hideous ruin and combustion down. So combustion, another thing that has to do with fire. Um, and then again, I'm just going to do like three examples of how he talks about fire. Um, and then this is line 52. It says, um, lay vanquished, rowling with, rowling in the fiery gulf. So again, he's talking about fire. And then... Here, a really big obvious one, line 62. As one great furnace flamed, yet from those flames no light, but rather darkness visible. All right? So that's really interesting that he talks about um, it being full of flames, but still dark at the same time because we always associate fire with light. I mean, the sun is a ball of fire and it lights up the entire world. We use fire for candles and people use that for light, so... I guess it just shows um, no light, but rather darkness visible. Yeah, that's interesting. But anyway, um, so according to modern pop culture, very similar, almost exactly the same. Fire, fiery furnace is what um, the lake of fire is what's mentioned in the Bible. And in pop culture, we always see the guy with the red suit and the pitchfork and the horns, and he's surrounded by fire. Fire, 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 just burning, you know, fire, all right? And then how do you see Milton's influence on contemporary depictions of hell? I believe that, yeah, it's spot on to the way that people describe hell and see hell um, in TV and movies and just um, the general idea, idea of what it is and what it looks like and what it's like there. Just constantly mentioning fire and burning. And, um, and yeah. But one thing that I don't think is really a part of the, um, you know, the general idea that we see about the fire and the man, like I said, with the pitchfork, is like I mentioned before, the darkness visible. So I thought that was a really nice touch that he added there. That, like you know, was unique from what we see in pop culture.